really good with the with the questions and asking him trying to figure out where he's at and where he kind of stands with a lot of different things i'm sorry actually here here's wild i didn't like that you didn't respond to the fact that bruce lawn we dropped the full pod with tim ross yesterday so yes, much indeed. critical claim good bad ugly and different uh uh, some people with absolute slander and just completely yeah. putting words in his mouth. Uh, the chat was wild at the ban a couple people. But uh, John Keith saw the full thing and, um, yeah, had some thoughts. What are your thoughts, my G? No, I mean, I, I think, you know, first this, of all, it was, just a, it was just a good interview. Is this Christian Illuminati John coming out or is this uh, <laughs> you know, anti-megachurch right. uh, pastor John coming out? No, oh yeah, first of all, both of those are real and also fake. No, nah, you know, I, I thought it was a it was a really good interview. It made me. I mean, I didn't know anything about. I, I legitimately, I didn't know anything about Tim Ross before. I no, I, I knew about his podcast because Dill's a big fan, and he's always like, "Yo, listen to the podcast." Yep. I'm not like a. I mean, Bible Project and this show is the only podcast only that I really listen, listen to. to. Respect, to be respect, honest, appreciate um, it. But it's not because I don't want to. I mm -hmm. just I'm not really a podcast listener like mm -hmm. that. So like that's all I knew about him. Um, but yeah, I mean, watching it, it made me like, it made me like him. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. All right. You didn't get into the stripper question. So uh -huh. I didn't really, you know, have, I, I think he's great. I think he's a great guy. Great, you like, you great. like the conversation. Yeah. I like the conversation. Okay. I feel like you didn't, uh, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you were really good with the, with the questions and asking him, trying to figure out where he's at and where he kind of stands with a lot of different things. Even like the elephant room and the TD Jake mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Actually here, here's wild. I didn't like that you didn't respond to the fact that T.D. Jake's name is what? Thomas Dexter Jakes? Apparently. Correct. That I did not know that was his name. I hate that. Mm -hmm. That that's you hate you you hate I, I you hate, hate the name his mother and I, father gave him? I thought and maybe I'm dumb for this. I thought his I thought his first name was T D. T D. I thought his name was T D, last name Jakes. Mm -hmm. Thomas Dexter is terrible. Yep. Anyways, but yeah, you know. <laughs> The rest, the rest of it was fire. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. I, I, that was only our second time hanging out in person. We, t we mm -hmm. chatted a lot uh, over text and stuff like that. And so, uh, Th Thomas Dexter, that's his name. Yeah. So I, I feel like the next time we sit down is going to be even more amazing. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, you thought his full government name was TD? If you just uh, blowing you up, yeah. So that was good. There was some controversy about. Somebody kind of making, uh, like taking issue with him not or seemingly not viewing the Trinity as essential, but I feel like he did and cleaned that up. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I felt like, I felt like he was saying that. It's, I mean, it's, it felt, it's, it's it felt it's, very that's, clear. that's what I gathered from what he said. Yeah. Especially when he started talking about how a lot of oneness people are like mean. Mm -hmm. And he said, and I think it's because they don't have a dad. I was, was like, was he, I was like, yo, that is a crazy. That was a good take. That's a good take, bro. I never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. They ain't got no daddy. I was like, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, I think uh, people also. There was somebody in the chat that full on said, Tim Ross said that God, the Holy Spirit, told him it was okay to cuss, right? In the context of when he dropped the f bomb. Hey, you want to see something kind of crazy? Over 75% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and turning your bell notification on so that you don't miss anything we have going here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I went and pulled up the original clip. And what he, what, he, what, he, what he specifically said was, the Holy Spirit told me that I will use your language as bait to catch the people that need to watch your pod. And I'm specifically talking about hell and damn, not the B word, the F word, the mother F word. And so they were literally saying, one, they said God told him that the Holy Spirit, Tim Ross said the Holy Spirit told him that it was okay to, 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 to cuss in context of when he dropped the F bomb and they didn't edit it out in the stream. And then when I actually pulled up the clip, that's not what he said at all. He actually said that God will use your, God told, the Holy Spirit told me that my words will be used as bait to reach the people. And I'm specifically talking about hell and damn, mm -hmm. right? Which is totally not the concept. I had to ban two people from the chat because I'm like, yo, that's low key slander. No, it's absolutely like you're slander. literally putting words in his mouth. That is not what he said, nor was he talking about the time where on the channel, he owned, owned opened up and said, yeah, I slipped and fell 
You yeah. know what I mean? And I yeah. shouldn't have used this said, language. Yeah, he said he. Uh, I, th yeah, I mean that's that's exactly and and the funny like, thing like is, it was pretty clear that he took ownership and responsibility. In my opinion, yeah. that he shouldn't have used the f word in that con. That's what I gathered yeah. from it. I think people need like an explicit like, and therefore thy repenteth of thy. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I don't know what people want, but if he's saying, "Yo, I could have said that better. I shouldn't have said that better." It was like I slipped and fell, like the video I showed you of the girl slipping and was a meme or whatever, right? Yeah. And so I was not. Uh, yeah, I di I didn't like some of the folks in the chat. Yeah, that. I mean that's that's super wild, but I, I think that just in general, I think Christians have a they have like a they have these certain it's so interesting. They have certain sins that they're like, oh, let's wild out about this one. Mm -hmm. and, and and the and and I'm gonna get they're gonna try and get me for this. Oh yeah. It's for things that is not a clear sin in the scripture. Uh -oh. Isn't that wild? Hey, did you know that you can watch videos like this? on the Spotify app. We now are on Spotify under Ruslan Bless God Podcast. So if you're driving and you wanna go back and forth between listening to the podcast and just the audio or watching the video, consider doing it now on the Spotify app as well as all podcast platforms. All right, I'll see you over there. Uh-oh. The things Careful. that upset you, so uh, God says that you know he hates pride, mm -hmm. right? You're not wild. You're not trying to cancel somebody out for 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 pride, but you want to cancel somebody that says "damn" mm -hmm. on a or hell or even uh, BS mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Like you want to you want to wild out for hey, that stuff. Hey Chris, bleep out all these words every time he says them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you want to wild out for that, but it's like, bro, God don't even. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, or or like, yeah. don't bear false witness Isn't while you're that, bearing yeah. false witness about someone that did not actually said what yeah. you just put so in. So you mouth. are literally. Bearing, bearing false, false witness. witness about a thing that's not even an obvious yes. sin, but the Bible says don't do what you just yes. did. Now, if someone if someone crosses a line, then I think there's time and a place to address that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And it, it is what it is. So anyway, his affiliation with Mike Todd is problematic. Like, Or mm -hmm. his affiliation with Mike Todd is God's grace of sending older men around Mike Todd to potentially help Mike Todd. Yo. Like that, like that's also a possibility. Yeah. Right. And now he has these two asterisks next to his name or, or like people that now people want to cancel him for and disregard him for. And I go, well, I mean, I don't know a lot of other 50 year olds and Mike, you know, Tim's almost 50. He's almost 50. Yeah. Tim's 50. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought he yeah. was the same age which, as Mike. Which, by the way, which brings me to another point, which is like, how do the scriptures say we should speak to an older man? Like, that's the part that people don't like. You don't just flippantly talk to older folks who are a decade older than you. Yeah. Tim Ross is 48. You know, he's a decade older than me. I'm not going to approach him the way I'm bantering with Ray Rock and we're disagreeing. Yeah. Like, that's not how you have those conversations. Facts. One of the comments said, what's up with this panty time between you two and bromance? <laughs> Let's get down to the real issues. <laughs> I was like, all right. Banned, first of all. Yeah. Yeah, but so, to your point. I mean, yeah, you speak Penny to... And, and by the way, I speak, Crazy. To, I speak to Alan Parr different. Yeah. I speak to Alan Parr different than I speak to what do you mean? Like, you you talk to yeah. older men different. You, yeah. you, you speak to them with a different respect and a different yeah. reverence, you know? 100%. Hey, this is a segment from our daily after-party stream. Consider partnering with us online for as little as $5 a month to get access to these daily after-party streams completely unedited. You'll also get access to our podcast as they are streamed live into the community before anyone else gets to see them, get to interact with our guests, get access to our private Discord server, and a discount code for our store for as little as $5 a month. Ultimately, that will help towards helping us continue contextualizing the gospel using media and podcast here on YouTube. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.